Hello! In one of my latest videos, we have explained to you how easy it is to destroy the Hafs recitation and Hafs himself in just a matter of seconds. The recitation of Hafs is the number one used recitation of the Quran in the world today. If you didn't watch this video, I really recommend you to do so. I advise you to take notes and learn how to expose this liar and deceiver Hafs, who is according to the Prophet of Islam, Muhammad himself, Hafs is burning hellfire for eternity. According to the Prophet of Islam in a Sahih Bukhari hadith, Muhammad said, if anyone lies about me, then let him take his seed in hellfire. So why would any Muslim want to recite or read or memorize the recitation of a liar and a deceiver who is burning in hellfire according to the Prophet of Islam? Hmm. To make it even more worse, I'm going to play a follow-up video for you of my dear brother, friend and fellow warrior in Christ, Mr. Christian Prince. In this video today, you will be the witness of a complete refutation and destruction of Hafs. Not only that, Mr. Christian Prince is also going to expose this deceiver, Farid or Fifi or whatever his name is. This Farid has been deceiving and fooling his YouTube audience and subscribers for many months now. You're going to see how Mr. Christian Prince is going to barbecue this Fifi. I hope you're ready because I am ready. So fasten your seat belts and enjoy this video. All right, hello everyone and peace of Christ all of you. Uh, this video will be short because, you know, one of you, he sent me this link uh, of a video made by a guy, his name is Fifi. Uh, and Fifi, supposedly, he is exposing the lies of a Christian prince. You know, the Muslims always, they are the best helpers to expose Islam. It's not a Christian prince. This is the name of the video. You can watch it in your own so you can die laughing at the Muslims saying Christian prince because the whole purpose of this video is Christian prince is lying. But I cannot believe it. How stupid those people are because they just prove that I was telling the truth. Look, the Fifi, Mr. Fifi, he did a translation for the page. This is his translation. Thank you, Fifi. I really appreciate you, Fifi. I, I should pay you, Fifi. Because look what you did, Fifi. Supposedly, Christian Prince is lying. He do not know what he is talking about. And he said, you know, Abu Dawood. Who is Abu Dawood? <laughs> the guy, his name is Abu Dawood. You idiot. I was telling the guy tons of names of scholars who rejected your stupid huffs. And look what you did. He highlighted for us, supposedly from the page I was reading from, but I gave the person many pages. And this one was open the screen. And I was counting for him how many people, all the scholars of Islam, they deny this guy that he is a fraud. So the idiot he thought, I am saying Abu Dawood, that's mean Abu Dawood, that uh, this guy here. This, this is the name of the guy. His name is Hafs ibn Dawood, you idiot. I was saying that Ibn Abu Dawood, Al-Bukhari, all the scholars of Islam, they deny him. And now look what you did. He translated for us the Arabic text. First, they said that Ibn Jawzi did not say that Hafs is a fraud. Okay, hold on. If Ibn Jawzi is not saying Hafs is a fraud, so why he is quoting people who they are saying he is a fraud? <laughs> I mean, I like a guy, I support him, but yet I'm going to tell you how many people they said he is a fraud. This is how the video started. Are you saying that he is saying that Ibn Jawzi said that he is a fraud? Well, when you quote to us how many people say he is a fraud and you don't say something good about the guy, that means obviously you are saying he's a fraud. And look, I want you to read with me. Let me, let me highlight. 
I'm very thankful actually for the, the translation that make it a lot easier for me because you know this is the game you don't know Arabic etc now this is their translation this is his page as you see this is his own account the coward he don't dare to call me this is how, how much he trusts himself look what the translation is I'm going to zoom in his translation so we can read together and again don't tell me it doesn't say that CP this is your translation look what it says according to Fifi translation they said that he is Yahya said he is weak and then he said once he said uh, uh, not a trustworthy and once he said a liar first of all this is not once and once you idiot here here it says waqala here there is a tashkil you see the tashkil here there's no tashkil they say there is no guy his name is murrah this is murrah first of all this has shown us how weak the arabic you muslim you depend in the quran was written without tashkil which means there is no way to know if it's murrah or murrah or murrah but because he's an idiot He did not know. He said, "There is no, uh, there is no uh, Imam in Islam. There is no scholar in Islam. His name is Murra. This is Murra, but the word is repeated twice. This is the book of Al Bidayah and Al Nihaya for Ibn Kathir. Now he will say to me, who is Ibn Kathir? We never heard of Ibn Kathir. <laughs> who is this Ibn Kathir? Who is this guy? Where do you get me the the Murra, Murra?" Murrah is once. Murrah is the name of a person, right? But for sure, he never heard of such a name because that exists, brother. Hmm? Let us uh, let us do a little bit. Uh, give me a second, please. This website is acting up. Here we go. And Ibn Abbas and Murra, you see Murra, when it is coming without Tashkil, it's a name. Do you see it? Let us compare this Murra huh, to your Murra, idiot of the village. Let us see if I can put them side by side. Hmm. Let us zoom in a little bit. The word, the word appeared twice. Once here, and this is with Tashkil, and once here, and this time without Tashkil. Marra, Murra. donkey now going back to the topic and let us say for the sake of argument it is not murra it is marra and because there is no tashkil it appeared like once it came as murra because it's the same word you know but let us say for the sake of argument but look what he did he just gave me the biggest help to expose the cult of islam the Muslim today, they are reciting Quran according to Fifi. According to Fifi now, it's not according to Christian Prince. Because remember, this is the translation of a Christian Prince. What the Muslims, they said about Hafs, the one who they recite his Quran today. Read carefully. This is Fifi translation. Very authentic, Bradar. Hmm? They said that this man Hafs, not trustworthy, is what he is not trustworthy according to uh, Fifi Murra he said once he said not trustworthy and once he said he's a liar <laughs> 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 
the one who will recite the Quran from the Muslim, they say in their books that he's a liar and he is a, not a trustworthy. I mean, is trustworthy is a liar anyway. If you're not trustworthy, it's meaning you are a fraud. As simple as that. And now look, he is rejected. This is a translation of who? Fifi. His hadith is rejected. Okay, if his hadith is a fabricated, how his Quran can be true? Because when you say recitation of the Quran, changing, as, as you see here, look how easy it is to fabricate. Between Murrah and Murrah, if you recite wrong, the word, the word Murrah, which is mean once, can appear as Murrah, which is a name of a person. The same as the word feel, feel and meal, you know, then Quran was not coming with the, with the, uh, 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 with dots. There's no dots. So he just accepted that this is a Quran, which is a fraud coming from a person who is a fraud. Do you have any other proof that his recitation is good? No, because all your recitation go back to him. You don't have the Quran of Uthman. This is recitation according to, according to, according to, according to, according to, according to, Uthman ibn Affan according to Muhammad. You don't even have his book. You don't have the book of Uthman. So the Muslim, they said, according to Fifi, that he's a liar, he's rejected. And Al-Bukhari said, they left him. What does that mean? You know, when we when we say we ignore ignore him, what does that mean? They left him. Huh? Like they threw him out. Who said that? Al-Bukhari. So the whole video supposedly is trying to prove that Hafs is not a liar. But you just said Al-Bukhari, he considered him to be a liar. Because what do you want more than they left him? So they left him when it's come to the Hadith. They did not left him when it's come to the Quran. Which one is more important? Do you see the stupidity? I'm using his translation. You see, I'm not going to play his video because they flagged me for copyright, etc. You can watch it and laugh. Al-Bukhari said, and this is Fifi witnessing, that yes, Islamic book says that Hafs, the one he recited the Quran from, they left him. They throw him out. He's, he's in the garbage. Nobody want to take him. Nobody want to accept him. This is what the left him mean. Taraku. Taraku. This is what left him mean. They left him. And as you see, this is the translation of Fifi, not my translation. Because if I translate, they say he's a liar. Hmm? And then they said, as Saadi said, he has been finished for ages, which means we dump him in garbage centuries ago. You know, we dump him in the garbage century ago. What, 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 what it says? Read carefully. And Fifi, like, brother, do you really believe what he's saying, brother? He is saying that they said he's a liar, brother. It doesn't say that, brother. You just did. Asad, he said, has been finished. For ages. Do you remember Mimi Hijab when he played for me a little video, the coward, because he don't dare to debate me? He said, you've been finished. Hmm? You remember the word finished? Here we go. We, we, we remind you of it. We, you are the one who's finished. This is why they don't dare to, record, to, to, to debate me. He got a bunch of uh, edited videos to play like a kid to avoid debating me. This is the whole drama. And the same as you. That's why you don't dare to call me because you are finished. He has been finished for ages. Who is the one saying that? Is it Christian Prince? No, CP doesn't say that, CP. So Al-Bukhari, they said they left him, which means they dumped him in the trash. as Saudi they said he'd been finished for ages, which means he is a liar since the beginning. And then Abu Abdul Rahman ibn Yusuf al-Qurashi al said, uh, uh, let me see the, the correct name. Uh, sorry, Ibn Kharash, I'm, I'm trying to understand his English here. Ibn, uh, ibn Yusuf ibn Kharash, let us see, uh, Saadi, uh, Waqala Abdul Rahman, because just my, my frame is covering the thing. 
عبد الرحمن بن يوسف ابن خراش خراش نذكراش سيد هي از لاير ذات فابريكيت حديث لك وات هي از لاير هو فابريكيت حديث اوكي وات از ذات مين Let us see what does that mean exactly. That means he is going to go to hell, according to Muhammad. So the Muslims are taking their Quran from a person, their prophet said, he will go to hell. Let us see the hadith. Hold on. And supposedly this video is made to refute me. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> what a bunch of donkeys. Garbage in, garbage out. Let us see what Muhammad said. I'm trying to find you the hadith in English. Um, all right, we found it. What Muhammad said about those who fabricate hadith, he did not say. Where they will end. Here we go. This is the hadith in the front of your eyes. Let me take the lines off. The Prophet SAWFM shortwave station said, Be aware of narrating from me except what I taught you. For whoever lies about me in purpose, then let him take his seat in the fire. And whoever says something about Quran according to his own opinion, then let him take his seat in the fire. So lying in the hadith is equal to lying about the Quran. And you Muslims, and this is Fifi translation, admitting, and now is that is hadith is sahih? Yes, it's sahih, brother. Can he say it's not it's not sahih, CP? It doesn't say that, CP. Hmm? It doesn't say that. <laughs> what a bunch of kids. <laughs> and look, as long now, from his translation, he's admitting that the scholars, this is just some little tiny number of the scholars because we were reading tons of names. But in this translation, sword translation, we have found That Imam Ahmad, read carefully with me, how many scholars they say he is a liar? They will say, who is Ahmad? Who is Imam Ahmad? Maybe he will play now the, the, the game of Murrah. <laughs> and Muslim. And Nasa'i. And Al-Bukhari. All they agree that he is a he is a he is a fraud. Look what Ibn Habban, which is a big scholar, he will say to me, "Who is Ibn Habban? We never heard of an Imam, his name or a scholar, his name Ibn Habban. We don't ever. He used to flip around the chains and connect disconnected report." That's mean he is doing that in purpose. He flip it. يَقْلِبُ الْأَسَانِيدِ He flip it, which means the one is right, he make it wrong, and the one is wrong, he make it right. And this is Fifi translation. My case is over. You are being served and finished. And by the way, he said in the beginning of the video, Christian Prince is trying to say that we have only one Quran. Okay, you know what? I have a challenge for you. But I know you will never dare. You call me. 
I will ask you to read the verse as long as you are saying we have the, the seven reading of the Quran. Don't you have you say they have seven reading of the Quran? You claim? Okay. I'm going to ask you to read a hadith, sorry, a verse from one of the reading, and you read it for us. If you find it, it's mean you are right. If you could not, that's mean you are a fraud like your prophet. And as long, by the way, you Muslims you, you claim that you have the seven reading of the Quran, as you claim. There is tons of website they say there is according to according to we are not they are not sure about those reading anyway but as long you claim that you have them so why you are reading only the quran of hafs which is a fraud isn't it your prophet he said that my people are not capable with one quran which means in order to understand islam you have two have the seven Quran and you read them all which means if you want to understand the verse you have to read it in seven Qurans where Muhammad he said that it doesn't say that CP it does say that let me get you busted and spank you here we go this is your prophet in his yellow pages talk the more he talk the more he help us to get him busted this is Sahih Muslim. Sahih Muslim is weak Muslim, by the way. It's called Sahih Muslim, but it's fraud. Hmm. Okay. Allah has commanded you. He came to Muhammad. Jibreel, he told him, as you see. Jibreel, he came to Muhammad. Always there's no witnesses. Like one guy book. One guy book. No witness, nobody. Jibreel. Okay, Jibreel, he came to me. This is remind me of uh, the guy, the, the Mormon, uh, you know, the Mormon uh, Joseph Smith. Two angels came to him, exactly. Eh, no witnesses, nobody saw anything, that's it. Hmm. Allah has commanded you to recite to your people the Quran in one dialect. Now the Muslim, they claim this is that dialect. That's what they claim. Uh, what dialect? I mean, why the Quran have to be written in many dialect? If the Muslim cannot explain, understand, if the Arab cannot understand the Quran, in one Arabic dialect, how a Chinese will understand the Quran? Those are Arab. How Mimi, Mimi Hijab, he is from a different country, he is not even an Arab. This guy, I don't know if he's from where, let us say, I don't know, is a Jordanian, potato, tomato, whatever he is. They have different dialect. How he can, both of them, they can understand the Quran suddenly. If you are a prophet saying, read carefully. When he said to him, I gave you the Quran one dialect. This is the Muslim translation. Upon this he said, who said Muhammad? I ask Allah. Burden and forgiveness. My people are not capable of doing it. Fifi is capable. And Mimi is capable. Because Muhammad is a liar. If you ask Fifi now, is one Quran is enough? He will say yes, brother. I wish he can call me the coward right now and I will ask him to recite for me any verse in the Quran in the seven reading. Let us see if he's capable. You're a prophet saying, my nation are not capable. And have you ever heard of a prophet correcting his God? His God, he ordered him to read and once Muhammad, he didn't accept. Uh, please, 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 come on, forgive me, please. I mean, this is not right. You cannot give me Quran one. I have a bunch of idiots, follow me. Don't you see how slow they are? One his name is Fifi, and one his name is Mimi, and one his name is Dudu. You cannot give me one dialect. And then the angel go back to Allah. And then this this journey, seven journey, like up and down, up and down. I mean, what a what a bazaar, what a joke, what a comedy. Imagine Muhammad sitting in his office, which is next to the goat. And then Jibreel come to him, says, "Brother, I gave you a, a Quran. Allah told me to give you a Quran." And then Muhammad he says, "Are you an idiot, brother? My dream to see what kind of people they follow me. They are they are very slow, brother. You cannot give me one Quran. You have to give me the more." Angel go back to Allah. Explain to Allah. Allah, ah, he scratched his ass. He said, "Ah, you he's right. Okay, I will give him two Quran." And then the angel go back, and then he says to Muhammad, "Allah has commanded you to read the Quran in two dialect." Upon this, Muhammad is not satisfied. He said, what's wrong with this God? He's so slow too, not only my followers. Upon this, 
The Prophet again said, I seek burden and forgiveness from Allah. My people would not be capable to do so. Okay. And then Zibril, brother, he come in the third time. And he said to him, Allah commanded you to recite the Quran in three dialect. Are you happy now? Muhammad, he scratched his ass again and he said, <laughs> Hello, <laughs> I seek burden of forgiveness from Allah. My people would not be able to do it. What? They are not able to do it. To do what exactly? I and mean, what is the problem here? So how Fifi and Mimi, they recite for us the Quran of Hafs and they are able to do it? And then it says here, he then came to him for a truth for the, for the fourth time and said, Allah has commanded you to recite the Quran for your people in seven dialect. Allah, he said, to him, come on, that's this guy, he will keep coming doing this. Okay, seven dialect. Okay, get, just get lost. Now, I want Fifi and Mimi to call me. I will choose a verse from the Quran hmm? and you will read it for me from one of the dialect I choose and let everybody laugh at you at, and at your prophet and at your lies but the most important for me how the Muslims they help me in this video to prove that Al-Bukhari Imam Ahmed Hey, and they are, they are, they are, so they, they, they are laughing like rabbits. Imam Ahmad, Muslim, Al Nasai, Al Bukhari, Ibn Habban, Ibn Jawzi, all of them they are saying that he is a fraud, he is a liar. What else more I need as help from Muslim to prove my point? So we say his hadith is a lie, his Quran is true, especially as we showed you. That Muhammad said it clearly that the one who lied, hmm, the one who lied about me saying a hadith, he will sit in a seat of fire, which means according to your prophet, this man he is going to end in fire. Now here we need to ask ourselves a question. Why someone like Al-Bukhari will say that this guy, everybody ignore him, we left him? Why someone like Ahmed and Nasai and Ibn, uh, Ibn Habban and those big names, they say he's a fraud, he's a liar? Why do they want to say that? I mean, they are, not, they are not Christians, they are not Jews. Those are the highest authority in Islam. The Muslims, when Al-Bukhari he speak, they do poo-poo. That's it, Al-Bukhari said so. Okay, Al-Bukhari said, Taraku. Read carefully. This is the translation of Brother Fifi. Hmm? They left him. Who said that? Al Bukhari, brother. What do you mean we left him? And why we left him? He's a poo poo? He's a doo doo? He's a caca? He's a garbage. So the question is why Al Bukhari says that about him? Why Ahmed, Imam Ahmed, which is, you know, this is, a, you know, uh, uh, actually not only Ahmed, uh, uh, Ibn Hanbal, you know, uh, 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 Ahmed, uh, 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 Imam Ahmed, uh, 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 all the Islamic sect, they decide that his hadith is rejected. All of them. So why the Muslim they rejected him? And when a Christian prince he said that he's a liar, and you say he's lying, Christian prince he's lying. They don't say that. You just did. It's in the front of us. Huh? Any Muslim have an answer? You know, if we check uh,
the names of the scholars they are listed in front of us we will find that those who they are all the Muslim Sunni all of them Ahmad ibn Hanbal as an example is a founder of one of the biggest Islamic sect and I would not be surprised if uh, if uh, Mimi Hijab and this guy they are from the followers of Ibn Hanbal which means they are follower of this guy so your scholar your Imam Ahmad ibn Hanbal say he is a fraud your scholar, your Imam, Muslim, saying he's a fraud. And Nasa'i is saying he's a fraud. Al-Bukhari is saying he's a fraud. And Ibn Habban. And Yahya. And the rest goes very long. This is just, I'm using his translation. Why Muslims accuse everybody to be a fraud? Look, they accuse a Christian prince lying. Lying, you know. <laughs> Ibn Jawzi did not say that, C.B. He was counting who said that. Well, when you count who said that, it's obviously why you are mentioning it if it's not true. I quote for you how the same as I'm quoting right now. I'm quoting Ibn Jawzi, what he is saying to prove to you a point. What is the point I'm trying to prove to you? You help me in that point. You prove it already. Al Bukhari said he they left him, he's a liar. This is what he left him mean. Asadi said he has been finished for ages, which means people they dump him long time ago, and nobody listened to what he say. Yahya said he is not trustworthy. And according to you, this is the both word murra. One is mur, mur, uh, uh, murra, which means once said not trustworthy. And he once said a liar. Which one you choose? You choose Murra said he's a liar or Murra he said a liar. It's up to you. It doesn't matter at the end of the day. They said he's a liar. And you know what? I accuse you to be a big fraud and a big fat liar. If you have knowledge of Islam, you know, why you don't dare to call me? And I will make you read exactly what is in the front of us in the screen and explain it to us so we die laughing. Not to mention that we have tons of reference about your fraud, what you Muslims say about him, all of those websites speaking about him, how a fraud he is. He's a fraud. If I translate, hmm? if I translate this page, Al Bukhari al Du'afa al Sagir, Hafs ibn Sulaiman al Asadi Abu Amr ibn Al Qamah, they are here, they are counting for you. You know what? أخذ مني حفص بن سليمان كتابا فلم يرده. قال وكان يأخذ كتب كتب الناس فينسخها. He took a book from me and he did not return. He's a thief too. Not only that, and not only that, he take books from people and he write it and he claim it for himself. What is the reference? Al Bukhari D eight seven zero. You see, it's in English in front of you. As the Muslim in the website, I don't know what D C uh, what e, uh, C E mean. I, don't, I have no idea what they meant by that. Al Al Dhaafa Al Sagir. Al Khatib Al Baghdad. The history of Baghdad. All of those is about this man that he is a fraud. كان يأخذ كتب الناس فينسخها ويرويها من غير سماع. He used to take the books of people and he write it for him his own and he reported as it's his own. And سمعت الدارمي يقول سألت يحيى بن معين عن حفص بن سليمان الأسدي. فقال ليس بثقة. is not trustworthy.
All of them, they are saying the same. لا يصدق He never said something truth, truthful. لا يصدق He's a liar. That is your books. All those books saying the same. That he is a fraud. Look here what he said. Uh, let me be sure that this is Yeah, actually, this book report not only this fraud; it report many, many frauds like uh, Huffs. Uh, let us see. Let me be sure. All right. Here we go. كذاب متروك إذا كذاب is a liar and his hadith is lifted يضع الحديث he fabricate حديث قال أبو الأحمد الحاكم ذاهب الحديث وقال يحيى بن سعيد عن شعبة أخذ مني حفص سليمان بن سليمان كتاب فلم يرده وكان يأخذ كتب الناس فينسخ exactly the same so they say that he is a liar uh, he, he he borrowed books from people and he he claimed it for him his own. He take it, he don't return it, and then he claimed that he is he is the one who made the book. Uh, what we can say more? This is your Muslim books, and even the translation, which is uh, uh, our friend here, he gave us is enough to prove that he's a fraud the one who put it for us on the screen the karahul haythami fil majma very number five page number 23 قال رواه الطبراني في الأوسط فيه حفص وهو متروك متروك you know this hadith they left it hmm? is that right So the conclusion we have that he is a fraud and it's not a conclusion I made. It is a proven by the translation of our friend Fifi. Fifi. So I'm really grateful that Fifi, he gave us this translation because now they cannot say that Al-Bukhari did not say that. You see, if a Christian prince said that Al-Bukhari said that they left Hafs, which means they ignore him, he's a liar. If a Christian prince said Ahmad, Imam Ahmad, he said that. A Muslim, he said that. A Nasa'i said that. Uh, uh, Ibn Habban said that, Yahya said that, they will say he's a liar, don't listen to him. This is a Muslim translation. And again, this is the page of a brother Fifi, may Allah bless him, and give him all the virgins, and give his orgasm 70 years as Muhammad promised him to be in heaven. A brother Farid now, because he made a video to get me busted, Allah will increase his orgasm. I mean, look at what kind of a fraud this prophet is, who promised people to have 70 years orgasm. So we have a Fifi who is defending a prophet who promised him 70 years orgasm. And look, even his video is seven minutes. And even the Quran was seven by Allah seven times. Seven Quran, because my people cannot do it. And this is how the Muslim make victory. Don't forget to download the videos, share it with your friends. 
and uh, add subtitle if you like and I'm very grateful for the translation Fifi he did I encourage you always to do this because this is the best way my friend to bring victory to Allah and the best way to get a blessing from Allah so Allah will give you the power of 40 men in heaven like Prophet Muhammad which is equal to the power of 4,000 men in boom boom I mean even this Prophet his power is about boom boom he have no other like he will not like he will be the smartest no no it's about penis his head is down between his legs how Allah will reward Muhammad penis how Allah will give him penis how Allah will hire him you know in rank penis because this is the religion of mr. penis his name is Allah and his prophet is testicles nothing less left to say thank you very much for uh, for being here and uh, I hope uh, they will make more videos and by the way I never flag Muslim videos because the more they make videos against me the more Muslims come to know about me so for for me at the end of the day never flag a Muslim videos whatever he's saying about me we we need them so we can get more Muslims to come and listen and leave Islam so they help us and as you see they really do great job they have low IQ and now he will make 10 videos to explain what happened here you know yeah, it's too late this is your translation look it says refer to this color coded translation to keep track of a Christian prince lies <laughs> what the Christian prince lies you are reading your Muslim page you are reading your Muslim book this is my lie now it's my lie that al-bukhari said he they left him this is your translation it's my lie that imam ahmad he said they left him muslim they reject not only they not, not only they, they rejected his hadith do you know what rejected mean not even a single hadith this guy is a truthful okay you know what somebody is coming to you and he have many things many stories not a single story he said is truthful to the point we reject all his stories is that telling you how much big fat liar he is the question is why ahmed and muslim and nasai they rejected him what was the problem he have corona they did not open the door for him you have a corona when you say they rejected him and this is your translation that's mean they rejected anything come from him so how you accept the Quran from him and now can he say it doesn't say that CP no I did not this is the this is from their page this is their page as it is you see I'm not I did not add those colors no he is helping us you see, this is his page. This is the video as it is there. And as you see, nobody is watching his video, actually, you know. But still, as long as they help me, I'm grateful for them. He posted his video four months ago, and still he has 4,000. If I go live in the Arabian Prophet, I will get 4,000 in, in two hours of view. I'm using this channel here because usually when I use their videos, they try to uh, claim I did not even play their uh, audio or etc this is why I'm very careful because when you play their audio or video right away because they are a fraud like their prophet they flag you but now if you try you know I did not even play the video I showed up the, uh, the, the where this is coming from I saw the, the who is the one who made it so he cannot he cannot play games all right anyway guys we will be later at night uh, live on air I'm not sure I will be live on uh, today is a Friday usually we go in the uh, quality of life we will see which channel I will be just uh, stay tuned I, tone. I, I will I have some work to do and finish actually I'm taking a break from the work I'm doing and I said to myself let us do some spanking and Fifi him I said thank you very much may the Lord bless you and doesn't say that CP <laughs> Christ is Lord and Islam is defeated by the help of Muslims as usual. Thank you and God bless. Take care. Bye-bye. And see you later. Maybe a few hours from now.